Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the OSDC mini series and reproducible research. Um, today, we're going to pick up where we left off with the introduction to R and get into some data visualization. Because this lesson picks up where the last one left off, we're not going to cover the setup and installation uh, sections of the lesson. Um, we're basically going to jump straight into the creation of the new project, setting up our working directory, and then jumping straight into the code for creating those data visualizations. Um, if you need a refresher on some of that previous material, um, we'd just like to refer you to the introduction to R, to some of those early segments. Um, there you can find uh, some more in-depth information about installation of packages, um, setting up your working directory, and that sort of thing. Um, and then once you pick up with, um, on that material, you can just jump back over to this current um, workshop in order to, to just uh, start right with the data visualization. So by this time, this screen should look familiar to you. We're just in the RStudio environment. And the first thing that we're gonna do, as in the previous case, is create a new project. If you are working um, from your existing projects that you started for the introduction to our workshop, uh, that's fine as well. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and treat this one as a standalone um, project and just create everything from scratch. So as in the previous case, we're going to start with this new project wizard. Again, I access this just by navigating to file and choosing new project. I'm going to first click on new directory and then new project. And then I'm going to call this one data viz with R with hyphens in the middle. So go ahead and create the project. Okay, so you can see here now that we've um, got our project saved in our working directory. Again, if you want to confirm the location of your working directory, you can use the get wd function. When you run that, it should tell you um, the default location of that, uh, of that project. In my case, it's the uh, users folder on my C drive. And as in the previous case, we're going to start by setting up our working directory with the required folders. If you remember from the previous case, we're going to use the dir.create function to create these folders, beginning with data in quotation marks. When you run this, again, you should see these folders appearing over here in your folder structure. Do the same thing again for data output. And finally for fig or figure output. Sorry, I need to uh, use the dir create function for that. Okay. And once you've got all these created, that's everything we need in terms of setting up our working directory. Um, we're actually going to just go ahead and um, import the data set that we created in our previous exercise, um, and we're going to store that in our data output folder, and that's going to become the data set that we use um, for the purposes of this workshop. The one last thing that we want to do in this screen before creating our script file is just load um, the tidyverse package, which contains ggplot, um, and ggplot is the... Uh, the package that contains all the data visualization um, tools that we're going to be using here. You could also um, import ggplot2 as its own standalone library, but we're going to do it as part of the tidyverse package um, because there are some additional uh, functions that we want to import from that package. So if you haven't already, you're going to need to run the install packages function with tidyverse. So if you're starting this project from scratch, for instance, if this is the first workshop you're, you're completing with us, um, then you're going to want to run this step. If you've already done the install for the previous workshop, um, then you can skip this step. So when you run this, you'll see some processing, some uh, text here on the background, depending on 
um, if you've installed this before or what kind of condition your, your hard drive is in, this might take longer or, or not so long, um, depending on, on what your system's like. Once that's run, you're gonna to want to use the library function. And remember library just loads that package. So the installation and the loading are separate and you need to do both. Um, but whenever you create a new session, you're only gonna to need to re, uh, rerun the library function just to load that, that package. Okay. So now that Tidyverse is loaded, we're good to go. We can go ahead and um, now have access to all the tools that we need for this lesson. So we'll go ahead and get started. So with that out of the way, let's go back up to file and choose new file and scroll over here to our script, click that. When you do that, you're gonna see this new script file appear again in your upper left corner. It's untitled because we haven't saved it yet. So the first thing that we wanna to wanna to do is uh, go ahead and save this. And because this is a different file than our ad actual project uh, file, which is right here, we can give it the same name without there being any kind of conflicts. So we're gonna call this one also DataViz with R and go ahead and save that in our project folder. And when you do it, you should see that script file appear here in your folder structure. 